Hello, everyone, and welcome to the King Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. And joining me right here is the lovely band of the Flatland Kings. Hey, guys, how's it going today? Hi. Um, you all right? Hi. How you doing? Good. Thanks for asking. So kind of introduce you guys. Um, let's start with Samuel. Hi, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm Sam. Uh, I play keys, guitar, back and vocals, uh, produce along with Steph, uh, do the mixing for the band. And let's uh, continue with Steph. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm Steph, and I generally make a lot of weird noises with a guitar and and weird noises with my voice in the background. But Another yeah, uh, produce the songs along with Sam, and well, we all write and produce between us. But yeah, I'm I'm primarily a guitar player and back and vocalist. Awesome. Well, kind of tell us a little bit on how you guys met, became a band, and started your music. Sure. Yeah. Um, well, I I initially sort of started the project. Um, I wanted to put together a country rock band for, for a quite quite a number of years and I, I, I couldn't find anybody to work with and I went on a, a playing guitar on a cruise liner actually funnily enough and the drummer on the gig said I know this guy Liam um, he'd be perfect singer for you so I hooked up with Liam and we started writing songs together in 2019 and then after about we'd only been doing that maybe six weeks eight weeks and then I said to Liam look we need a we need a keyboard player a piano player because I can play the drums and guitar and stuff, but I can't really play keys at all. So Liam said, oh, my mate Sam, he'd be good for that. Let's get him down for a session and we can just pay him to play on the tracks, um, which would have meant he'd have earned way more money than he currently is. <laughs> he done that. But by the end of the first evening, he came down and had a listen. And by the end of the first evening, he joined the band. He was into it. So uh, that's the first time I met either of the guys was when they turned up at my studio, really. So... Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's one of those go. Sorry, Sam. No, I was saying you wouldn't let us go. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're there all night, you shutting her ear off. That's it. <laughs> Basically, yeah. What is one thing that you guys most enjoy about music? We'll start with Steph. Uh, people. Um, that's what it's about for me. Um, and music is just about people. Um, I honestly really don't mind what kind of noise I'm making as long as I've got a guitar in my hand, but it's about, you know, it's primarily about, uh, you know, about being together. And it's, you know, the, the thing with us is, it's a bit like a family, we're a bit like brothers. We we love hanging out and the, it's great. We, we can create music together in the same room, which obviously we've not been able to do during COVID, but we can again now, which is fantastic. And yeah, for me, the most important thing is about, it's just about being with people and that whole experience um and the music kind of comes after that for me so yeah sam uh well for me yeah i'll i'll double what steph said but the uh the real joy for me um is in the recording and the producing um and getting all techie and breaking things down and um establishing why certain things need certain uh playing styles and parts and I, I really enjoy the, the nitty gritty of it all, really. What is one thing that you guys like about your music? It's loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was perfect. Um, I think for me, I don't know. There's so many aspects of it um, that, that, that I like, but I think lyrically, I think, it, it means something to me lyrically. So for me, um, although Liam writes the, the, the majority of the lyrics and Sam and I kind of edit them and <laughs> throw your ideas in and, you know, spell check them and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think um, for me, it's kind of that the lyrics mean something and that's the most important part for me. Uh, and, and I think in country music in general that you're, you're writing songs about stuff that matters. Um, and I think there's a lot, a lot of acts I think probably in the UK at the minute that are writing songs about trucks and tractors and whiskey. And um, we're not kind of doing that because I don't have a truck or a tractor. I do drink whiskey, but um, we write song was writing songs about things that kind of matter to us. So, bye Sam. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, for me, I think the lyrical thing is, is, is the most personal thing for me. Um, but yeah, it's just the whole vibe really. Mm -hmm. If you could do it with any singer, who would it be and why, guys? Wow, do it with any singer. Um, wow, we have so many influences, but I think we're all we've all become massive fans 
of Need to Breathe. Yeah. We're all big Need exactly. to Breathe fans. So I think if we could do a duet or a, you know, do a song with another artist, I think it'd probably be Need to Breathe. That that would be yeah. pretty, you know, they, they're yeah. awesome. So there's some pretty there's some pretty cool British bands coming through at the minute, like on the un, unsigned scene as well. Yeah. Um, so the, there's certainly some scope to uh or gig with them and and well jam with them yeah absolutely mm -hmm. do yeah, you guys we... have any new singles or any upcoming projects that we can look forward to yeah we're right in the middle one now called won't let go uh we previously released it on our skeletons uh physical print uh but we released it as the demo so we're releasing it as an actual single so we've just uh cut the drums we're just doing the vocals next uh just released these are the days that was out on the 20th of august um and i think we've got about another 12 songs stuff is it in the pipeline yeah we've been doing a lot of writing over lockdown and stuff so we've got yeah probably 10 or 12 songs that are in in the bank as we call it you know that we've yeah. kind of demoed or you know we've got initial ideas for and that are written fully written and it's just a case of recording and producing them and we do all of that ourselves so it's a little bit of a slow process because it's not like we just book a studio and it's all done in a in a couple of days or whatever and and that's it we we literally have to just get our diaries together get an evening to do a couple of instruments then get another evening to do another couple of instruments and so on but yeah we've got quite a lot in the pipeline single wise we you know um yeah probably about 10 songs i would say ready to to kind of record and produce so we're very excited about all that but yeah as sam said won't let go is the next single after these are the days which will be um in the autumn probably early autumn yeah, yeah we hope we're, we're releasing every six to eight weeks so well hoping to um yeah, yeah. coronavirus dependent um <laughs> when we can get in the room together so yeah we're just waiting to cut the vocal with liam on that and then that should be out yeah yeah probably about middle middle of october yeah yeah it's gonna be good so yeah i bet it's gonna be really good <laughs> well, I won't let go is um is one of the first songs we ever wrote um when i first met liam i think it was actually the second song liam brought the lyrics along and he had some real jazzy chords to go with it and i was like those chords are way too complicated for this song mate we need three chords that's all we need we need three it ended up being four i reckon but um so i completely ripped the chords out to keep the lyrics they're good but I'll, I'll change the chords around in the melody and, and that was i think the second song we wrote and we demoed it and then recently liam just said oh that's just, we should release that it's a great song so that's what we did we Go decided ahead. to you know re-record all the parts and because at the time it was a real quick demo so we recorded all the parts there's a drummer that sam's got involved um over in the state somewhere isn't he yeah he's, he's in la so he's cool. in california so he's cut the drums for us and uh yeah that should be october that one but it's very very different to these other days again yeah massively different well still all the stuff yeah so it should be good yeah for sure what advice would you give someone that might want to start singing uh, starting a band in general um be thick-skinned <laughs> do what you love do what you're passionate about because i think if you're passionate about it it comes through and people kind of latch onto it um i think if you try and conform to what you think people want yeah. i think you can always come across as being a little bit fake or if you're trying to fit in a certain trying to be cool and fit in a certain genre i think you know people let's say recently have said to us oh you you're not country or you don't fit in that category and you don't you don't fit in there and we're like, it doesn't matter. You know, we do what we do and this is our, this is us. You know, we, we don't, we don't have to conform to anything. We just want to, we want a Flatland King sound. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a real plan set of how we need to sound, you know, as a whole, we just take a track at a time and make it, try and make it sound like us. And I, I would give that advice to anyone who's starting yeah. out, just be passionate about finding your own sound and your own identity um and be honest be honest with your audience i think would be my advice and just have fun with it so sam have you got any advice you'd give anybody um, mine's mine's really simple um i've i've wasted so much time um trying to be okay at so many different things 
um, different genres, different instruments. Uh, and whilst I can play lots of instruments, uh, I think the main thing is find what you're good at and more what you're passionate about and get really good at it. And once you're really good at it, outwork everybody else because talent only gets you so far. So yeah. you have to put in, if somebody's putting in 40 hours, you need to put in 80 hours. So work your ass off as hard as you can. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, I think um, I spent many, many, many years trying to be, you know, the best guitar player I could be and trying to, you know, those guitar competitions with every other guitarist in the world, who can play the fastest and who can do this and who can do that. And after a while, and certainly the last few years writing with these guys, it's now about how great can we make this song? And it became about a song. And once I got my head around that, and it wasn't about the technical aspect of playing guitar anymore. It was more about how great can I make this part fit in the song and how great can the song be? Was I so much happier with my ability than I was just trying to be technical on the instrument? So yeah, it's a really good point. Suddenly. Where do you guys see yourself in the next five to 10 years? Still bold 100. <laughs> <laughs> um, still together would be my first thing to say. Still together doing it. But I'd be happy with that, you know, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. in this day and age, I don't think any original artists, unless, unless you've got a massive amount of financial backing, I don't think any artists are, are making it massive in, in this genre in our country, at least. So as long as we're still doing it, we're out there playing and we've written loads more songs and we're out there just, just playing. I'd like to be playing some of the bigger festivals in the UK in the next four or five years would be cool to be up there just playing, playing to slightly bigger audiences, but to be honest, just playing our songs live. We've got an event in October. We've we've got eight, nine tickets left now. So, and that's our first event since COVID. And it's already nearly sold out. So that makes me really happy. And that's only, that's under a hundred people. It doesn't matter how many, I suppose you're playing to, but yeah, just get out there and keep doing it. That, that's what I'd like to be doing in five years. Just still doing it, still together. Yeah, I, I completely agree, yeah. So, yeah. What are your hobbies and interests outside of music, guys? <laughs> Can I answer for Liam? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, mine, um, honestly, is, is actually just having family time uh, because I spend so much time writing music, mixing, producing. And that is my love, first passion, work, hobby, the whole lot. But yeah, the other thing is playing with the kids and. Um, and spending time with the family because unfortunately you don't get much time once you have kids. Mm -hmm. Same. Yeah. Right. Time with kids. That's, that's pretty much it. Music and music and family. Those two things. Yeah. Take the mm -hmm. whole of life. There's, there's mm -hmm. no other time, you know? So, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, family and then music. Those in that order. Mm -hmm. How many kids do you guys got? If you don't mind me asking. I have two. He has loads. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> my oldest is 21 and my youngest is four. Oh, wow. But uh, we found out the cause of it now, so we've put a stop to that. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Dad did. <laughs> Dad did, yeah. My wife did, yeah. yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us today before we hop off? Um, yeah. Go, go listen to more of our music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no what what we really like uh is people like videoing themselves like we, we we've got a few through lockdown we had a lot of videos coming through of people listening to our music and singing along to our music things like that we get a real kick out of that so that's what we want more than anything is people to get involved with the music get involved with us because we are a massive family yeah yeah we actually have a which anybody can come and join by the way we have, a, we have a facebook group which is flatland king's family which is sort of a closed private group but you can you can you know join it and um and we love m nothing more than yeah just being like a big family and just sharing stuff with with everyone so yeah it's cool when we get together and all the kids play together and that is it's great so yeah definitely awesome well i just want to say a huge thank you to Steph and Samuel from the Flatland Kings for joining me right here on the King Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. We truly appreciate the time to talk to us. Thank no, you. It's been great. Thanks, Caden. Not a problem.